Well, Pat, we've got a check we're going to present to you for 110000 on behalf of the commissioners, you. and it's uh, because of the American Rescue Plan. And Anna, if you could uh, get that ready. Commissioners? BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. We really appreciate the investment and the, the foresight behind the investment by the commissioners. We think this is really a necessary item, and if anything, the pandemic has shown us how there is such a great need to increase our digital awareness and increase our digital skills. And there's a lot of ways that we are doing that. One is, you know, there's a study going on by Eastgate with more about infrastructure, and we hear about that, and getting more towers and conduit and things like that. And that's all, that's important. But the problem very often is that you can have all the access to high-speed Internet. As a matter of fact, just in the city of Youngstown, 98% of the people have access to high-speed Internet. That's phenomenal. But they don't use it. They don't know how to use it. They can't take advantage of it. So many things, school, tele telehealth, uh, job interviews, government benefits. You all have to do so many of those things these days, or at least it's easier to do it if you know how to use your, your phone, your computers, and most of us in this room aren't as good as we would like to be, you know, and, and certainly people, oftentimes poor people, don't have that. They don't have the, the, the training. They don't have the background. So our mission at the Oak Hill Collaborative is to try to help in all of those, those, those ways. We are partners with Eastgate, trying to help get broadband for the, for the greater region. Giving them the $110,000 will allow them to continue their program, add more students, and even add more adults for computer literacy. And that is one of the things that was an allowable expense that we can do, and it benefits a large segment of the community as we unroll this broadband, because a study has already been done or underway with uh, Eastgate, and uh, it's something that we've heard for years. We never had a solution to do it. And myself, personally, I'm not that literate on internet, so maybe I'll go up the Oak Hill Collaborative and get a lesson. But it really benefits the youths in the, in the kids here, here in our community as well as the adults. So we figured uh, that was a good way to use a portion of that money. The county wants us to invest in, in people to help teach these classes, to promote the classes, to organize. We have a lot of the equipment that we've been able to accumulate, but now we have to put that into effect. And pandemic obviously has hurt us quite a bit in terms of attendance at these things, but we're planning now very actively to do a lot of different classes and you need personnel, not only people bodies, but you have to, they have to have expertise, they have to certain skills. So, you know, we'll, this will help us with that quite a bit. And it'll really greatly expand the amount of classes, the number of classes, the kind of classes that we teach. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com. Businessjournaldaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.